Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash first paw media. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by First Paw Coffee Company, specializing in private label premium blend coffee. If you're serious about coffee, you should check it out. First Paw Coffee's passion is high quality small batch roasted coffee. They take the extra time to taste and get everything perfect before they release new blends. They aim to bring you a cup of happiness each time you pour yourself some coffee. Find out more at ak.dog slash free and enter for a chance to win some First Paw Coffee prizes, a book from our collection, and tote bag. One winner will be selected at random each month. That's ak.dog slash free. Bringing home a new puppy is incredibly exciting, even during the latter stages of the COVID-19 pandemic. At least we can hope, right? More people than ever are looking to add a dog to their lives as they self-isolate. Many puppy seekers wonder, is now the right time to get a puppy? The answer to that question differs from person to person. Were you prepared to get a puppy before COVID-19? Do you have the financial stability and resources to supply your puppy with quality of life and regular vet appointments? After you return to your normal schedule, are you prepared to continue caring for your dog? If you are fully prepared for the responsibility puppyhood brings, there is no reason not to get a puppy now. In fact, it's a perfect time to help your new pet adjust to their home and work on essential training skills. Responsible breeders have been practicing safety and cleanliness far before COVID-19, and many are willing to meet potential buyers via online video chats or phone calls, then transfer the puppy while maintaining social distancing. From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska, this is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. Hello and welcome to Dog Works Radio. This is your host, Michelle Forto, and I am the lead trainer of Alaska Dog Works, where we help humans and their dogs have better relationships. Today, we are talking about if the time is right to bring home a new puppy. Over the last few episodes of the podcast, I have been focusing a lot on puppies. There are a couple reasons for this. One of the biggest ones and a topic we talk about every year is Christmas puppies. And another reason is the pandemic and us being forced to stay at home has brought a lot of puppies into families that may have never had one before. So, Today, we are going to give you some advice to help you decide if now is the right time to add a new canine buddy. Let's go. Training a puppy while being isolated presents unique challenges. You must find creative ways to both socialize your new puppy and teach your puppy how to be alone, even if it's just for a little bit each day. After finding your breeder, there's so much to do to make your puppy's transition a success. From puppy proofing your house to purchasing chew toys to starting potty training on the right foot, it's easy to become overwhelmed. To put you on track and ensure a happy dog for years to come, follow this new puppy checklist. Puppy proofing. Puppies are unbelievably curious but just like toddlers, they don't understand what is safe and what is off limits. Remember, if a puppy can get something in its mouth, he'll eat it or chew it. That's why it's essential to puppy-proof your home. You'll protect your house, prevent bad habits, and most importantly, keep your puppy safe. Here are some tips for proper puppy-proofing. Look at your house from your new puppy's point of view. 
get down on your hands and knees so you don't miss anything at ground level. Anything dangerous like cleaning supplies should be kept behind locked cupboard doors or stored up high. Tie all electrical cords out of your puppy's reach. Put everything valuable away. Knickknacks and cell phones can't be destroyed if they're kept in drawers or on a high shelf. Keep shoes in a closed closet. If you don't want something to become a chew toy, prevent your puppy from getting it in the first place. Switch to garbage cans with lids. Food smells will attract your puppy, so be sure he can't get in your trash in the first place. Use barricades like baby gates or exercise pens to keep your puppy confined to safe areas or out of unsafe ones. You don't have to puppy-proof the whole house until your dog is ready for that kind of freedom. Examine your backyard for hazards. For example, look for holes in the fence or toxic plants. Go online shopping. It's important to have all the necessities like a crate and chew toys before you bring your puppy home. The following things can start your shopping list. Dog crate. This is an invaluable tool for keeping your puppy safe when you can't supervise him and for simplifying your house training routine. Be sure to pick the correct size. If the crate is too large, your puppy can use one end as a toilet, which will set your potty training back. Collar and leash. Depending on your dog's breed, you might want a harness as well. Don't forget to put an ID tag on your puppy's collar. Puppy food and bowls. Exercise pen or baby gates. Chew toys. All dogs love to chew. Teething puppies most of all. Pick chew toys that aren't too small for your puppy to prevent a choking hazard. And one thing to be sure of, steer clear of any and all raw hide chews. Grooming tools. It's never too early to start getting your puppy used to nail trims and brushing. Treats. Simple training can start from your puppy's first day at home, so be ready with plenty of tasty rewards. Pushing paper. As fun as it is to play with your new puppy, there are still some administrative tasks to take care of. Keep this paperwork in mind. Name your puppy. Although your breeder might have put conditions on your puppy's AKC registered name, his call name, the informal name you use every day, is completely up to you. To help you match your puppy's name to his personality, check out our dog name finder over at alaskadogworks.com. Register your purebred puppy with the American Kennel Club. Your breeder may have taken care of this, but if not, you can register your puppy yourself. Registration is for life and includes access to AKC's canine care packages. Even if your dog was picked up from the local animal shelter or pet rescue, you can still register your dog with the local county or borough. I hope that you look into that for more information. Register your mixed breed with the AKC Canine Partners Program. This will allow your dog to participate in some of the most popular AKC dog sports like agility or rally and earn certain titles for his achievements. Find a veterinarian and other pet professionals like a groomer or a pet sitter or a dog trainer and don't be afraid to visit them first and ask for references. Also learn the location of your nearest emergency veterinary clinic. Making introductions. Your puppy will need time to adjust to his new environment. Plus, it's likely he'll miss his doggy family until he gets used to his human one. Be patient and be careful not to overwhelm him. Consider the following. Show your puppy around. Let him know where to find his crate food and water bowl and where he should be going to the bathroom. Let him explore with supervision, but don't give him the run of the house on day one. 
He can earn freedom as he learns the rules. Supervise introductions to other pets. Don't let your puppy annoy your older dog and be sure cats have an escape route. In the beginning, keep interactions short and sweet. Introduce your puppy to new people with care. Too many cuddles all at once can be stressful. Everybody will want to meet your puppy. And it's important for him to meet as many new people as possible. But make sure each experience is pleasant and rewarding. Socialize your puppy. Socializing means introducing your puppy to as many new people, dogs, places, situations, and so on as possible. While in isolation, get creative. Introduce your new puppy to new sounds, surfaces, and toys. Be sure to do this at your puppy's pace. Don't force him. Encourage him and stay positive. Teaching and training. Every interaction between you and your puppy has the potential to build your bond and teach something new. Let me repeat that because this is a very important and something that a lot of our clients overlook. Every interaction between you and your puppy has the potential to build your bond and teach something new. And there's no reason you can't get started right away. Here are some training considerations to keep in mind. Potty train from day one. Your dog needs to know exactly where you expect him to do his business. Prevent accidents so he also learns where not to go. If a mistake happens, clean it up with an enzymatic urine cleaner. Set the house rules. For example, decide if your puppy can go on the furniture and who is in charge of mealtimes and walks. To prevent confusing your puppy, make sure your entire family is on board and consistent. Teach your new puppy basic behaviors like watch me, sit or down with positive reinforcement based training. You can encourage good manners even in very young puppies. If you're struggling with your new puppy, consider getting help from our podcast, Dog Works Radio. Look for a puppy class. Some are now being offered virtually. Puppy Kindergarten helps with both socialization and training. Search for a training club in your area. Enroll in the AKC STAR puppy program. Your puppy is eligible for the STAR puppy test after completing a basic training class with an AKC approved CGC evaluator. The program is designed to get dog owners and their puppies off to a good start and enrollment includes benefits like the AKC Puppy Handbook and a monthly email newsletter full of training tips. Set goals for down the road. Training basic manners can lead to all kinds of fun dog activities. An important goal for every dog is the AKC Canine Good Citizen Program. It's a great foundation for dog sports and the gold standard of behavior for dogs in our society. Are you stuck at home with a new puppy? Training your dog during COVID-19 can be difficult without access to normal training classes. That's why we're here to help you virtually through our Ascent course at Alaska Dog Works. This live telephone service connects you with a professional trainer who will offer unlimited individualized advice on everything from house training to behavioral issues. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Michelle Forto for Alaska Dog Works and Dog Works Radio. This episode of the podcast is sponsored by First Paw Coffee Company. Learn more at firstpaw.coffee. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? 
Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Fordo and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.